Mon Valley City Authority's call to order. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation. Page two or page three. I can't see. 
Which were, when were you chose which one? We are one tribe. That's a good question. So when I originally structured the numbers, I structured it where we would give you a check at closing. So whenever you refinance, we'd give you a check for, uh, you know, the savings is around $400,000. But you would have to use it for capital project. But if you want to reduce your debt service over the next three or four years, I would use that $400,000 and, and, and knock off debt service in the next four years. Right. I'm sorry. Right. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. they do have the option. Yeah, yeah. So either or. You would recommend that. Yeah, so if you don't have a project, then knock out as much principal as you can over the, over the first few years. So that would change this structure around a little bit because we, we would be refinancing some of the earlier bonds and leaving some of the later bonds outstanding. Just to, to mention, we, we do have projects forthcoming. However, as you might be well aware, we've already borrowed the funds. Right. For those anticipation of bids to be let out here in a very right. short period of time. Right. So, so when we do our budget, we would be able to budget if, say, we use a hundred thousand dollars a year, we would have to budget a hundred thousand dollars less. Right. Okay. The only, and I always want to make this clear, is that you know sometimes board changes, is that in three years from now, your debt service goes back up to the original amount. So right. you're basically getting a holiday for three years, and then in the fourth year it goes back up to the number that it once was. So that's always, you know, that's always the touchy thing when, whenever you're doing refinancing and taking the savings over a longer period of time. Sometimes, you know, you get used to budgeting a certain number, and then the next year you're like, Joe, what happened? You know, why are in other words, if you want to screw the next one's coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Under this scenario, we would leave we would leave some of the earlier bonds outstanding, so we wouldn't refinance them all. Keep the bond issue under ten million dollars. But depending on which way the board wants to go, that may change. So instead of leaving these bonds outstanding, we might leave seven hundred thousand of the twenty forty four bonds outstanding. It doesn't it doesn't hurt you. It costs you a little bit more because you're leaving a 3.2% bond outstanding as opposed to calling it. But it, I think I ran it both ways last night. And it turned out to be about $12,000 difference in savings. Yeah. But, if, but if you're not going to use the money, you have, that's your only other choice is to reduce your debt service. So I'll work with Tom on those numbers and then he can disseminate them to the, uh, to the board members. Uh, and then uh, page four just shows that you know we're refinancing bonds from two percent to three point two. Now your new interest rates or your new um, yields we, we talked about yields are 055 percent out to two point six two five percent. So we're lowering your debt service payment, or I'm sorry, we're lowering your interest rate by quite a bit. And then. Uh, the next page shows the comparison. So you're saying, all right, Joe, that's so a lot of numbers. If we're lowering the interest rate and we're keeping the debt service payment the same, we're paying off more of the principal. No. You're, you're actually raising more principal. And you're taking that principal as savings. So if you low, so whenever you make a debt service payment, it's principal and interest. The higher the interest rate, the less principal you pay, the more interest you pay. You lower the interest rate, you're going to have a bigger principal payment, smaller uh, interest payment. But you don't need all of that principal. So we, 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 what we call monetize it. We take the principal that you don't need after you pay off the 2016 bonds and cost of issuance, and what is that, whatever's left over, we give it to you as, as savings. Now, the principal amount goes up on the loan, but the interest expense goes down. Your debt service payments to stay the same, and you didn't get money up front. But it works a little bit different, Tom. If you're going to if you're going to reduce the debt service, then you're correct. You know you're going to be paying a little bit less in principal because we're knocking out. Gotcha. Yeah, the authority's always taken the funds in the past versus. But yeah, because they always had projects. Yeah. yeah. Which. Yeah. Right. So that money comes back to us. What can we use it for? 
Any capital projects, yeah. Any capital projects, yeah. 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 So you're saying, okay, Joe, you present a lot of numbers. What, are, what do they all mean? Like, what are you telling me? So on page five, what I do here is I compare. Now, this is going to change because we're taking the money a little bit different. But here, I compare the bonds that we refunded to what your new debt service is, and then I calculate what the difference is. And what we're trying to show here is that we're not extending the term, so both bond issues are going to go away in 2044, and we're not increasing your debt service. So your debt service is staying the same. Under this scenario, we were giving you $89,000 this year, and then the rest was going to be savings. What's, what's these highlighted? Well, I just highlighted there because that's where, you know, this year you were going to get $89,000. You know, one way or another, you were going to get $89,000 in savings. Where does it show that here? The highlighted, the, 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 I'm sorry, the last call? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't see. I'm sorry. I need have an issue with my office. 82. Yeah, 82. Yeah, 82. Yeah, 82. Yeah, 81,664. Should help me to the 89,000. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, the next page shows the sources and uses of funds. And here at the bottom, this, this box at the bottom, right here it shows where the total savings is. So it's going to be on your right uh, towards, the, towards the end. Your total savings is about $412,000 after you pay costs. And I outline the costs on the next page. Oops. And those costs are the same that, that you paid uh, on this last bond issue. So, so basically, the savings as of right now is estimated at 412000 Yes. And if you look at the percentage, it's uh, like almost 4.2%. And uh, as bond council, we recommend savings anywhere net of cost over 2%. So you're more than double it. And, and one of the benefits that the authority has done on their refunding is they take advantage of their five-year call. So this authority has, you know, truly benefited by these lowering of interest rates. You already made, what would you say the first one was a million one? Million four. Million four plus another, so you almost made a million eight out of one bond issue less than ten million in savings. So mm -hmm. The market's been in your favor. So it's, been, it's always continued. It's going back up now. It all depends on who you listen to on TV. They keep on talking about interest rates going higher, and they haven't gone. So they haven't they've been they've been steady. I, they don't know if all this stimulus is going to work. You know, so not enough people going back to work for that. So they drive the inflation. So we'll see what happens. But. The, the, the other point that I wanted to make, so after this $412,000 in savings, in six months from now, you're going to have another bond issue that could be refinanced. And those are actually 4%. Now, we can't refinance them now because there's a call protection. So we can't re we're not allowed to refinance them until next year. Like, so starting in, we would start on that bond issue somewhere in December and close in May. So you would be able to refinance another $10 million. And those interest rates are at 4%. So if interest rates stay where they are, that one should generate another $700,000 or so, roughly. Hmm. And then we would also clean up your other issue. We would refinance the bonds that were even outstanding. Again, try to stay under $10 million. And one of the things we did on the last bond issue, which is going to help you in the future on this, is so you guys currently have a significant, I probably we were talking about this today, a debt service reserve fund that's, that's protecting the bondholders. Um, as we refund this bond issue, and probably the next one will probably get closer, then you can release that and get a surety bond, and a lot of that money can come back to the authority as well. So right now, when we issue bonds, we're adding security to the investor. This is true with any water and sewer bond issue. We set aside one year's worth of debt service. So say that your, if your total debt service for one year is $3 million, we set aside $3 million in the debt service reserve fund, and it earns interest, but not, not at the amount that you borrow. 
So it's almost like a negative care. So it actually costs you money to keep that $3 million there. There is an insurance policy that have become very popular. They're called surety policies. So there's an insurance company, the same insurance company that insures your bonds for um, 2%. So if it's $3 million for a $60,000 premium, they'll release that $3 million. And then the authority would have $3 million to do projects or to pay off bonds, depending on what bonds council's opinion is. Since that fund was uh, bond, originally bond money, it would have to go towards construction. Yes, or pay off or or, or, or pay off a refunding series, like so you could oh, issue okay. a new. So you say you have a refunding coming up, okay? Mm -hmm. And say that refunding is seven million. You could use three million of that, only issue four million of bonds to refund that. Oh. Or we take that money and just buy back bonds. Yeah. Okay. You know, whenever the time comes, I think we have to do like sixty-seven or seventy percent of the bonds have to be refunded before that provision kicks in. So we would look at that as soon as we're able to, then we'll bring it to the board and then you decide what you want to do. If you want to need it for a capital project or just, you know, buy back bonds and try to lower your debt service. buy back the higher interest ones or is there a way you have to like start with the low one? Yeah, it's, we would talk, I would talk to bond council. So we would definitely try to get the highest spot, but it depends on, you know, whether or not you can advance refund them and how expensive is that going to be with the difference in interest there, rate? There's so a number of different with, things. With the new um, infrastructure plan, there's potentially some new tax law changes on the bonds. It could be advantageous to you guys too. Hasn't been passed yet, so we don't know. But that's what I have. So bottom line, keep your debt service payments the same, unless you lower them. Keep the term of the issue the same, pay all cost of issuance, and you're left with about $400,000 right now. Now, interest rates could change. You know, We've been very lucky at this authority that you know savings has always been a little bit higher than what I projected. But if inflation does take hold, you know, it could be, you know, the savings could be a little bit lower. So, you know, uh, you know, as Jeff said, we're looking at 2% at or better to save at least two hundred thousand dollars or better. Right now we're at four. <coughs> but before we would sell bonds, you know, we would notify Tom and just say hey, the savings are at this level. And just to you know, just to make sure everybody's in four. Is yours? So that would be in August, right? No, it would be in July. It would price it would price it. It all depends on the uh, it depends on the uh, on the audit too. Because um, we need the audit to say so we don't want the audit coming out just, you know, between the bottom and close. When do we audit? Tom, when do we audit? You're talking about a regular We're doing it now. Oh, they're doing it now. Okay. Okay. If you think it'll be done then? When will it be complete? He's just starting on it. He's hoping for June now. The June for meeting. June's meeting. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. When's the June meeting? Second, Second Monday. Monday. Second Monday, okay. So maybe we can get preliminary numbers from them and send it up to the rating agency, get the rating. You just bothered, bothered us for the past month. Don't bother us this month. I know, I feel bad for Okay? Me. Yeah, I yeah. know. Yeah. It's, it's just going to be dead. That's the response you're going to get. For the most, yeah, it's need? just the audit. <laughs> when do you need the number? Well, the earliest that we can you sell bonds is July. It takes about two weeks to get a rating. So, so we June, would, June meeting. We'll yeah, June it. meeting, we would have the audit. I have to show it to the rating agency unless we could get preliminary numbers. All the information that mm -hmm. Amy and Tom mm -hmm. have already given me should be fine. You know, it should be all uh, it should be all up to date information because nothing's really changed. You know, in the last couple of months. So their part of the information, like the statistical part. We have so it would just be updating the uh, financials. What we don't want to do is sell bonds. Then the audit comes out, and we sold them with the old bond audit, and someone sees something that they don't like. Then we run into a problem. But if he gives us preliminary, we can at least go to the rating agency, get the rating. I don't think you know it's a refinancing. You just got rated, so it's not going to be any different than an A, the A minus stable. <coughs> but whatever, but for disclosure purposes, when we sell to our investors we would want the audit in there. So it would be good to have the audit done by you. 
Mm. Is that a possibility? Well, we spoke to Gary last month. He said he was trying to get it done for June's meeting. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, do we need to do this yeah. first? Yeah, can you just Please. do that? This, thing, this, uh, okay. this just needs your signature on that. This, this, this here um, is basically, this is the not to exceed uh, resolution, uh, similar to what we did in February for the, for the new money issue. This just authorizes betting and scatter good to go out and sell the bonds, prepare the preliminary official statement, have uh, me and my firm prepare all the bond documents with your solicitor, and uh, the issue, the bond issue, most likely uh, with a bond buy in July and a closing in, in August. That's so we'll probably just, yeah, probably yeah, probably in that. Yeah. Yeah, it's in that, your packet there. It's, called, it's on the resolution 11. 11? Yeah. Well, we'll just it's got the big print at the top, like this one. Oh, man. Resolution 11 of 2021. I'll we'll make that motion. That's mm -hmm. a motion by Mr. Mr. Baradella. I'll second. Mr. Thompson. Yes. Ms. Farmer. Yes. Yeah. Ms. Sucker. Yes. Mr. Baradella. Yes. Yes. Mr. Maritini. Aye. I need a motion to approve the G17. Well, that's all that's part. Of the I, I, Aaron, that's all part of the resolution anyway. Oh, it's all part. Of, okay. It's all part of our resolution. Okay. You can sign these. You can sign these. You can sign these. Okay. You can sign these. Okay. 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 Any other questions for these gentlemen? Thank you for your time. And thank, you. Oh, thank you. Information. Yep. We, we appreciate it. Hey, it's not a change. We, we, we uh, appreciate you taking your sewers up. Thank you. See you Thanks for it. Thanks for it. Thanks for it. I can go right now. Yeah. All right. Back to business. Has everybody had a chance to read the minutes? I have a motion to approve the minutes of the April meeting. 
I make a motion. Motion by Mr. Thompson. I'll second. Second by Ms. Farmer. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Ms. Farmer? Yes. Ms. Tucker? Yes. Mr. Baradelli? Yes. Mr. Marasini? Yes. Church's report. Everybody looked at the, reviewed the report, the bills. They have a motion to pay the bills. Make that motion. Motion by Mr. Baradelli to pay the bills. Second by Mr. Thompson. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Ms. Farmer? Yes. Mr. Tucker? Mr. Chairman, Mr. Tucker had a question. Oh, excuse me. Did I sign my Yes. Yeah. Oh, did Paul sign? Sign what? No, me and Tommy signed the bills. The checks, you mean? Okay, okay. I was thinking the one I was looking at. His signature's not on there. That's all. Oh, that's the... Uh, yeah. That's the ACA. Yeah, that's ACA. Yeah, that's ACA. Yeah, that's ACA. That's the ACA. Miss Tucker? Yes. Mr. Baradelli? Yes. Mr. Marcini? Yes. Correspondence, Mr. Salek. First one is a letter received April 21st from Washington County Conservation District regarding the PAGO 2 NPDES general permit, uh, phase three long term control plan. Uh, number two is an email received from uh, Mr. Harha regarding the outstanding bill at Columbus Park uh, due to a water leak. Uh, number three. Wait a minute, can you uh, go into detail? What do you have to do with the water leak? What do I have to do with it? What's he saying? Well, why is he sending you the email? He's asking for exoneration of the bill due to the leak. Oh, so he wants a little time on the bill. Right. Okay. I was just wondering what was he He's asking for a fraction due to the leak. Okay. S since since we stopped on it, that's that's what he asked. If I would entertain with the board, if they uh, here's an email that he sent me. If the board would excuse the current charge, that uh, they would be very thankful. I knew they would. <laughs> there you go. I feel. I just wanted to you can pass it out. Okay. Yeah, it's the baseball field at the, for the kids up on Columbus Park. No, 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 no. It's a it's a water leak, and they ended up with a fourteen fifteen hundred dollar bill last year. So he wants to ask you not to do it. Not bad. You can go ask. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't never been called that. Motion uh, to someone make a motion and uh, have it voted on, please. Is the water treated for? I wouldn't think so. No. I, I don't know the specifics on it. No. You know, I played there as a little kid. If it was a water line break somewhere, on that hill, it did not hit it into a sewer system. Never hit. Because I know you go to city park, you can't even go to the bathroom. Never hit. They got everything. Why do you use water? They got all the water in their bathroom. Yeah, but they don't feel a lot of water use, so they got a sewer. Oh, they have a pump. The restrooms, that's it. The restrooms have a pump to send it up over the hill. That's it. Yeah. In Columbus, to send it up towards. uh Columbus Drive in, in Pennsylvania. Okay. Does anybody want to make a motion to exonerate this charge? I have to make. I make a motion that we exonerate him this time. All right. Motion by Mr. Tucker to exonerate the charge. This, this time. One time. Okay. Yes. Second. I'll second. Second by Mr. Baradelli. Mr. Thompson. Yes. Ms. Farmer. Mr. Tucker? Yes. Mr. Baradelli? Yes. Mr. Marcini? Yes. Mr. Hart, I thank you. He's in the city of Madison. Yeah. Yeah. Third one is uh, uh, from PMAA, uh, Spring Management Workshop, to be held Wednesday, June 16th at Seven Springs. Uh, if anybody from the board would like to attend, please let me know.
uh, a thank you note uh, from the Lewis Schubert family. Uh, as all you know, uh, one of our employees passed. Uh, they just sent a thank you card for the kindness and the thoughts of uh, flowers and that kind of stuff. Uh, number five is a letter from the email from the borough that they no longer want to take the used forklift that's out in the uh, parking lot. So I'm just asking now, since that we're on that, uh, if the board would uh, consider donating that to uh, Westmoreland, Westmoreland County. County Community College. If the board would choose to do so, I need a motion on that, please. I thought I saw a resolution. Well, I have. I, I draft the resolution after prior, sorry, prior to the last month's meeting, and we didn't take action on it because it was suggested we asked the borough and the city whether they would like to have it. And as much as they declined both, uh, I redrafted the resolution to make it effective that if you would want to do so, uh, I have the resolution here this evening, which would permit, and I can read it to you uh, so that we know exactly what it states. <clears throat> it, uh, did they get it in their package, Tom? I, I'm not sure. Pardon me? Oh, the resolution should be in your package. What number are you? Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Okay. Your resolution number 10 now is in your package. Basically, it, it's indicating we have an inoperable, unused tow motor. It's not been, been used for approximately three plus years sitting here. Uh, we were requested by letter of community college uh, dated March 19th, 2021 uh, to see if we would donate to them uh, for the public safety training center. And what they do is they uh, keep first responders up to date with essential skills, uh, according to the letter, by providing realistic fire service, rescue hazardous materials, emergency medical related services and law enforcement training. So their intention is to, I guess, have repaired at their, and it's at no cost to us for any of this, uh, have it repaired and used it for public public service. Uh, that was that was the intent of the letter. Right. If you have any questions, feel free, I'll answer them for you. Questions, everybody okay with giving it to them? We, we kind of agree yeah. it's a useless product sitting there. The only reason I brought it up, yeah. if it was any good, uh, right. Oh, yeah. John, oh, maybe you can put it up on Columbia Park. That's right. I got you. Uh, yeah. In the right. beginning, they wanted it. They said, sure, we'll take it. Yeah. Until yeah, they, they came and saw it. the shape was sitting. I was just going <laughs> to <Yeah. laughs> yeah. I need a motion to approve resolution number 10 of 2021. I make the motion. Motion by Mr. Thompson. I'll second. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Ms. Farmer? Yes. Ms. Becker? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. yes. And the letter, last one is uh, a letter received today from uh, Dave Yankowski requesting to be removed from the health insurance effective. Uh, May 31st, 2021. There's an issue regarding that, we'll talk about the executive session. Okay, on with the manager's report. You're done with correspondence, right? Yes, sir. All right. First thing I'd like to bring up is uh, we have a, a flow meter recorder in our control room that uh, has gone out on us three times. Uh, I have a bid of 79.53 and 1700 labor for 96.53. It's uh, our main flow recorder uh, asking for authorization to uh, and by a motion to purchase a new one. How much? $9,653. Please. I need a motion to approve the purchase of a new flow meter. The amount of nine thousand six hundred fifty-three dollars. How long can I ask a question? Go ahead. Sure. Sure. How long? We didn't have that recorder that long. That recorder. Uh, sure, we're not here. Uh, oh, I'm thinking of the one. Remember, you took me on that on the new one. Uh, at the pump station yeah, or, or the satellite that, facility? Yeah, yeah, no, that's that. all. You're correct. That is all brand new okay. materials. I'm talking about the one that's in our control room okay. in, in the main building. Well, in the 1998 or Florida. Is 
that a motion is stuck? That's how you make a motion. Well, I'll make the motion that we get to pay that price to get that new, uh, what's that now? Flow meter. Flow meter. All right. Motion by Ms. Tucker to approve the purchase of a flow meter. I'll second. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Ms. Farmer? Yes. Ms. Tucker? Yes. Mr. Verdelli? Yes. Mr. Marasini? Yes. Next thing I have is uh, we received a check from Westmoreland County Tax Office, Washington, Washington County. Yeah, there was, can I explain it? I had a resolution. Sure, go ahead. Thank you easy for me to read. There was another resolution uh, I have tonight. It is, <coughs> we were notified by letter from Chris Vanderman, who's solicitor for the Bidmont Valley uh, WPCA, which is water, uh, water plant as well. Uh, they indicated to us and they sent a number of correspondence attached to the letter itself that was dated April 6th of 21, uh, whereby there was a property that was placed up for tax sale. The tax sale went through. There were excess proceeds over and above the amount of the taxes that were due on the property. Based on that fact, uh, Midmont Valley WPCA had a lien on the property in the amount of $830.73. What had occurred was, a check was erroneously issued from the Washington County Treasurer based on the tax sale to us. We weren't unaware. We just assumed it was a check that rolled in from something we had a lien on at that time. Deposited the check. So it was a positive $830.73. Well, unfortunately, they, they discovered the mistake <laughs> and sent us notice. So it's a simple matter of correcting the erroneous check that we received by refunding it, uh, and I spoke briefly with Carlin. Her suggestion is, in as much as we were going to send it back to the tax claim bureau itself, but in as much as the treasurer issued the check to us, uh, the re I drafted a resolution to indicate that we are to issue the check back to the Washington County Treasurer and let them correct the egregious error. That's that's whatever they handle, they'll handle it. And I'll inform Mr. Vanderman uh, of the same. By letter, and I'll instead of mailing it in, I think it'd be more, much easier if I would hand deliver it and explain everything. That we, What's going on? Yeah, yeah. If I just get a check in the mail, it's going to be a confusing matter. So I, I have no problem calling Mr. Uh, Black, Ms. Blaine Black, their their tax claim bureau solicitor, and I can speak with uh, those at the tax uh, uh, treasurer's office also. Okay. It was no. It would have been the it would have been the tax claim bureau. Any kind of property, you check for liens. If I'm buying it, I'm going to check for liens. Do we, do we get the interest? Yeah. That 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 all happened. Uh, I guess. On their end, they don't talk about it. Whoever purchased the property, when they paid the tax claim bureau the the money that they bid, I don't know even know what the bid amount is. The Western County Tax Claim Bureau thought it was our lien. Not Mid Mon Valley WPCA they confused the the term the language. Mid Mon Valley. Mid Mon Valley. So they assumed it was us that had the lien. So why did somebody bid on something and not have a check for liens? Well, they did. They did. They, did. they paid the taxes and they paid their excess money. They wrong version. Mid Mon Valley. I knew that. I knew you get to check things for liens nowadays. Well, you should. I mean, you're stuck with whatever runs on that property when you buy tax sales. So. It wasn't us, so it was not our error. We just received a check assuming it was normal revenue collection right. from we cash. cash. And we, we cash deposit cash. cash. And deposit it. <laughs> so they're, they're just asking for a reimbursement of those funds. And, I, and again, Carly had mentioned because I originally was going to send it directly to Vanderman's office to Midmont Valley, like PC, and Carly was in the office the Monday when I think I called in and she said I would prefer for her auditing purposes. To send it back to the Washington County Treasurer just so the tracking is there for the exact amount that we've received and have to deep that back out. So that's that's the reason rationale. And that resolution would be number 12. Number 12 if the board chooses to do so. Right, I need a motion to approve resolution number 12 to refund $830.73 to 
we were giving it to? Washington County Tax Claim Bureau. Washington County Treasurer's Office. Treasurer's Office. I make the motion. Motion by Mr. Thompson. No second. Second by Mr. Baradelli. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Ms. Farmer? Yes. Ms. Tucker? Yes. Ms. Baradelli? Yes. Ms. Marantini? Yes. Okay, the next thing I have is uh, uh, a verbal request from Carroll Township Authority. Uh, we currently have a agreement for service and their authority and our authority would like our manager and our manager uh, and a board member or two like to sit down and see if we could get a simplified agreement on the billing procedure and uh, they asked me to bring it to the board I know we've been discussing I have been discussing it with Carol for a lengthy time I know Lou knows about this uh, I'm just asking for the board if that's something that they would like us to pursue further and entertain it may not do a few years ago, we tried. It I, didn't, it didn't, I requested it. It didn't come to fruition, however. Correct. They, they declined mm -hmm. to, to accept what we presented to them Correct. from, from our offices. I, can, I, I remember it's problem with the building. I, I wasn't around. What, what's the problem? It's a complicated formula. It's, that's the correct word. Yeah. Complicated, complicated it, it actually They're fits. not happy with our formula? No. Correct. It's the original formula from 19... 73 or whatever it was for. Yeah. We're just basically looking to come up to an agreement that would be a dollar figure per treatment of 1,000 1, gallons. It, it almost takes it's all myself, Carlin, and Jason to calculate what that payment is when we issue the bill to them. Is it fair? Do we think it's fair to them? The current one? Yes. I treat it very fair. Okay. Do we think it's fair? I don't think we're going to make anything that wouldn't be fair. No. You simplify. They just want to simplify. Yeah, they have the want to fair. We just want to simplify. They just want to come out and say, if you if we treat 10,000 gallons of your water, you owe us $100. Correct. Right. You know, instead of going through three days of calculations to figure out that they owe $99.50. Do you have a problem with me and Lou going to sit down and talk to them one day? Whatever the board's wishes, that's that's fine. Hey, probably, I don't have a problem with entertaining. What the hell? That's, you know, we've always had a good report with Carol Township. Look, look, yeah, I'm fine with it. Yeah. Okay, uh, tomorrow, whatever, give me a couple dates. Okay. I'll call, I'll call John and give it to him. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's Carol Township, correct? Yeah, it's correct. Aaron, do you have an update on the Shawlery Agreement? Have we talked to their solicitor? I do, and I've discussed that in second session. Okay. And uh, the only other thing I have is uh, that I, uh, uh, I put an ad in the paper for employment. We roughly received uh, 12 or 13 applicants today, which we will discuss right. at the end of the meeting in executive, executive session. session as well. Okay. And uh, conferences, the national conferences is WEFTEC in Chicago. October 17th through the 20th, and PMAA is August 29th through September 1st, if anybody from the board would like to go. That's all I have, Chairman. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Uh, Mr. Bylon? Yeah, Tom stole kind of a portion of my <laughs> presentation with the resolutions that I've already presented to the board. Uh, we do have executive session material, three items at minimum, minimum to discuss. Uh, but I want to make, give you a report on the lien letters that we had talked about last month. Um, the lien letters have been drafted completely. I had the opportunity just today to meet with Marty for the first time to review the process of issuance uh, regarding the lien letters to the individuals. We initially thought for some reason it was 41. It must have been a quick count because what I was instructed to do was lien anything $1,000 and over. Uh, as I went back through that, I found out that we're really looking only at about 32 to. All right, so. Um, Are some of these properties even worth leaning? 
Uh, yeah, there's, there's, I mean, you know, there's probably one that you're that's going to be uncollectible. I did call, by the way. I did not collect, uh, contact Washington County. I'm going there Friday. I'll find out exactly. I'll get the fee schedule Friday with the charges. But what uh, I mentioned around 120 in Westmoreland County, it's actually 78 dollars. So it's it's a little more reasonable than what I thought. Can we make sure that you spend some time with Marty or Andy, whatever you want to do it? Uh, Please. I, 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 I was supposed to come Friday. I just couldn't make it then Friday. So I came in today a little bit early. I sat down. We went through just a cursive review of one of them. How the process goes. Yeah, we're going to do that and come in Friday. I've, of all things, Washington County schedules DUI court individually every 15 minutes per individual. So I have a hearing Friday at 4 p.m. in Washington. So I'm going to come up in the morning and go through with Marty uh, before. Oh, he's over there. I'm pointing to Jason right here. <laughs> But I'm used to it. But yeah, if I'm going Friday morning, and we're going to go through the process and, and, and go through exactly what we've done. I've already done that, but I think he gets the grasp of where we're doing, where we're at right now. Um, I would think so. We have questions asking. Mean, if you don't feel comfortable, stay with him until he gets comfortable, correct? Yeah. I, it, 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 we're, I, did, well, I did the point of drafting the notice. So that, that's out of the way. So now it's just a matter of process procedure of issuing those notices and keeping track of them when they return back to the office. You know, the certified mail cards uh, or the rejection that they, did, they didn't accept them. So that, we're going to have to establish a schedule and policy and how to do that. And we, we touch base whenever that as best as we could this afternoon uh, for a minute, you know, 45 minutes to an hour, whatever it was. So but, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll make it back up here Friday is next for him. So. I will make it Friday. Yes, ma'am. Those leads, are they from Manessa and Dinor? There are nine from Dinor, and there are 23 from Manessa. And there are some that we're going to have a problem with. I pointed out, uh, we're going to have to take a look at. They're, you're talking $1,500, $2,000 worth. There are at least two I know that the property owner is renting to the individual. And the property owner is deceased. I, I, I know the man, it's on the list. Because I had Marty let, pulled up for me a couple of weeks back. Who's collecting the rent? I could be the estate, that's what I'm saying. I don't I don't know. We'll have to, if it's in the state, we'll have to put it where we'll have to have assets, assets the charge for the estate. It could be it, it, it's very well possible. And the man's been dead for well over a year and a half at least, if not two years. So in the other case, I know they've been deceased for a relatively shorter period of time. But yeah, those are those are problems. Those are things that are going to take time to have to track down the, to do. But we're still we're, we're down now to maybe a handful out of the ones that were left uh, on on that on that schedule that we talked about last last April 12th. And while we're on that a little bit, yes. uh, we're pretty much back to normal, getting our bills paid now. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. whatever normal is. Yeah, everybody knows that posting and shutoffs are happening, so they're they're starting to pay more. We're going to do shutoffs at the door this week. Anything else? Uh, I have nothing else until an executive session. All right, we're going to move on to Jason, engineering, please. Sure. Uh, the first subject is the backflow preventer or um, valve that we touched on last meeting. Um, I touched base with the contractor McCross on several times over the last couple of days. Um, status is Trumbull, who is the remember there's multiple parties. <coughs> Trumbull is the um, the sales representative, not the manufacturer, but they're the ones that are actually kind of it appears stepping up in this case. But they're looking at alternative technology, a truly a, a flat gate valve. Um, as opposed to the current technology that's in there. That's all I have at this time. I don't have anything more than that other than they're, they're investigating that as an alternative um, option that I'll have to uh, keep working at it and bring something next month. So, uh, are they going to pay for it? Well, that's, I mean, we've made it very clear that the authority's not. <laughs> that's, something, that's something you're working on, correct? Yeah. Try so now their thing is to get rid of the duck, duck bill and go with a regular Correct. flat. That's flat what Trumbull's thinking about. Yeah. Yeah. With 
with all this rain, we didn't have no problems over the weekend yesterday. No, the satellite from Sitwell Sean. Not every time. You got a lot of rain. Yeah. Now, and I know I asked this before. If we were expecting a lot of rain, do we check up on that? Mm -hmm. you know, Everything is checked on every day. But I mean, like during the rain, if it's yeah, really so bad, I'm on her. you know where I'm talking about. I'm on her during the rain. If there's something that arises, we take appropriate actions. Uh -huh. um, Go ahead. Next subject is the uh, biosolid uh, land application project that was, um, bids were opened. Um, we only had one bid <laughs> after, uh, you know, after the one entity uh, created some issue and wanted to see the project go to bid. Um, that particular vendor chose not to take out the, um, the contract documents, although we contacted them directly. Um, so you just had one bid from Cinegro, who was your current provider. Um, their bid, their bid total amount for the three years is $252,000. It's $84,000 a year. For the board's knowledge, we did have to secure a letter of uh, clarification in that their bid only listed their annual amount and didn't multiply it times three to give a total bid amount. So we just had them submit a letter as an informality that just said we acknowledge that you know, the total amount is our annual amount times three years. We just didn't quite have the bid form filled out correctly. I, I, I talked to Aaron and I. Well, know. Jason, I spoke about that. As much as you have, we had one bidder, and it was a simple mathematical error, which is excusable to the extent. And so we clarified the matter, and, and uh, it, it appears that it, it kind of, the, the amount, the overall payment amount is going to be. Yeah, we, we only allowed for one one amount for all three years, one fixed uh, cost per ton. Um, so it'll be flat over the three year period. It's slightly more than what you're paying currently, but if you think about it over a three year term, you're gonna pay a little more the first year and then about you know about what you would the second year and the third year you might pay a little less than what you would have. Because um, they were going to inflate it every year. Yes, they did yeah. drop the fuel charge, right? Correct. And when you were not, we did not include a fuel surcharge in your contract. Currently, you pay a fuel surcharge based on if price of fuel goes up. Um, so they do not have the ability to charge that now. That, that was an issue in the past also, if I recall. And it, when you say an issue? They, they, they presented to us. The, oh, yeah. There's, yes. there's definitely fuel surcharges on the <coughs> one I was looking yeah. at had it. Um, so I don't know if you recall Amy or Tom if that became very significant at times, but I don't know you guys. In any case, it's not in there now. So you have a, you have an almost well, you have an absolute fixed cost for for your uh, sludge disposal for three years. Plus, we don't have anybody else anyhow. Yeah, nobody right. else bid it anyway. Yeah. Um, All that hoopla, like yeah. you said, nobody bid anyhow. So I just need a motion to. Um, Contingent on receipt of bonds and insurances um, to accept the bid from Cinegro in a total amount of $252,000 for a three year contract. It will we'll sign the agreement next month. That was what our okay, plan was come to recommendation with this month. We'll collect the bonds and insurances, have everything ready for the agreement to be signed at the June board meeting. Yeah, I need a motion to approve the Cinegro. Contract in the amount of two hundred fifty-two thousand dollars for a three-year period, contingent upon receipt of bonds. In receipt of bonds in it. Receipt and approval. Receipt and approval. Yeah. I need to move. Motion by Mr. Thompson. I'll second. Mr. Thompson. Yes. Ms. Palmer. Yes. Tucker. Mary Ellie? Yes. Mr. Mary Yes. Uh, let's see. What's next? Um, on your current blower improvements project, um, there are two change orders, um, one for the good and one the opposite direction. Um, but the one for the good is more than the one for the bad. Um, so the first um, change order is to JP Environmental. 
Um, he's the general contractor. Um, based on a, a switch out of the type of mixer they were using um, that, that provides all the same benefits, but we just um, eliminated local control panels uh, for the mixers. Um, there's a credit of $44,164 to their contract. Um, I don't know if you want me to present both and then you can make a motion, I guess, on both. Then parallel to that, there's an increase to Genesis, uh, Genesis Construction Group's contract um, for additional conduit, for additional wire that's necessary to accommodate those mixers with a positive increase of $22,630.39. So the net difference is you're still saving about $22,000 um, on your combination of the two contracts. I have the second one, I don't see the... The first one, the one's attached to the... Um, resolution. Resolution, okay. and the other one is loose. Okay. Did that make sense? I don't know what I yeah, I get you. One person wants more money, one person wants less. Correct. Right. For the same change, essentially. It's just the general is accommodating one thing and the electrical is providing something different. But the net, it's a net positive to the authority. So you want to do resolution eight and well, I think it, I think it change, two, I think approve the change orders first. Yeah, okay. Um, so it's change order number one to JP Environmental's <coughs> contract, um, and the amount a credit in the amount of forty four thousand one hundred and sixty four dollars. That's change order one, you said. Correct. I uh, need a motion to approve change order one to JP Environmental. Correct. In the amount of $44,164. It's a credit to us. I need to move. Motion by Mr. Thompson. Second. Second by Mr. Baradelli. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Ms. Farmer? Yes. Ms. Ducker? Yes. Mr. Baradelli? Yes. Mr. Yes. Yes. Number two to Genesis Construction Group's contract. Um, with a net increase in the amount of $22,630.39. I need a motion to approve change order number two to Genesis Construction Company in the amount of $22,630.39. I'll make that motion. Motion by Mr. Berardelli. I'll second. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Ms. Farmer? Yes. Ms. Tucker? Yes. Mr. Berardelli? Yes. Mr. Martini? Yes. Um, and all I have remaining is res two resolutions. Um, the first is resolution number eight of 2021. It's 2018 construction fund requisition number 30 uh, and the total amount of $375,005 even. Motion to approve resolution number eight of 2021, the 2018 construction fund requisition number 30, the amount of $375,005. I'm motion by Mr. Thompson. <coughs> All second. Mr. Thompson? Yes. Ms. Farmer? Yes. Ms. Tucker? Yes. Ms. Ferrelli? Yes. Ms. Maritini? Yes. Uh, the second is resolution number nine. This is 2021 construction fund requisition number one. Um, this is the new construction fund requisition for the projects uh, associated with the SME Q tank. Um, this requisition is in the amount of $4,435. The motion to approve resolution number 9 of 2021, the 2021 construction fund requisition number 1, in the amount of $4,435. I'll make a motion. Motion by Mr. Berardelli. Second. Second by Ms. Farmer. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Farmer? Yes. Mr. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we covered it. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, because this just tonight to JP was uh, $365,000. Uh, what's the amount again of this grant? Well, I'm trying to think. I don't know. I'll give off my head. We can, we can talk about it tomorrow. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're so far uh, off. Yep. We're, it's available to us. Yeah, it's, we'll, wait, we'll make sure we can request the whole amount. It's easier to just ask. Oh, people. no, we're just going to one time. Right. Um, that's all I have. Okay, thank you, okay. sir. Old business, I think we covered a lot of this, except for the deeds. We'll discuss that in executive session, correct? Yep. Yeah. All right, new business. <clears throat> that's done. Done. Down, down. That D is under executive session, Correct. and E is done. All right, I'll need a motion to go into executive session. Make that motion. Motion by Mr. Baradella. Second. second by Ms. Tucker. Mm -hmm. Mr. Thompson. Yeah. Mr. Farmer. Yes. Mr. Tucker. Yes. Mr. Baradella. Yes. Mr. Marisini. Yes.